Hello, beloved community. I'm here with our Rev. Kevin Cottrell Ross. As you can see, he is in his regalia as he has recently completed his studies at Harvard Divinity School. Congratulations. Thank you, Brother Rev. Thank you, Brother Rev. Yes, uh, uh, just a, a few quick questions so that everybody's in the know. Uh, so uh, you've just spent the last nine months in Cambridge, Massachusetts, and, uh, and received your, your degree. What degree did you receive specifically? So I just received from uh, Harvard Divinity School the Master of Religion and Public Life degree. And that uh, particular degree program helps us understand the power that religion has for either being a destructive force in our world or being a force for good in the world. And so it was an incredible program. And I was honored to be there and I'm, I'm grateful for all the support from our spiritual community to help me uh, cross that finish line. It was a very important step. Yes, and, and so exciting to, to see you walk. Uh, walk that stage. I'm so glad you came. Rev E was there to be a good representative of our Unity of Sacramento community and uh, you know he, he's always uh, there uh, cheering me on and lifting me up. So just thank you for coming and always being there. We, we love you Rev and, you and, and, and just continue to, to represent Unity of Sacramento in such magnificent ways. But, but I really want to ask the question that's on everyone's minds. Okay, you're done. Now what? What's next? <laughs> well, um, what's next is a lot. First of all, um, once again, I want to acknowledge our spiritual community for uh, all of the love and support that uh, allowed me to uh, engage in this very powerful program. And, and if I must say so myself, be a force for good at Harvard Divinity School and at Harvard University. And I just want you to know that I'm, uh, Harvard uh, didn't want to let me go so fast. So I'll just put it like that. And so we're, we're in conversation about ways that uh, we can make an impact at Harvard University on a continuing basis. So I just want That's you to good. know. Just want you to know. That's good. It, sound, it sounds like there's some collaboration in the world. There's something happening, and we're in prayer about how we can build a bridge from Unity of Sacramento to Harvard University because they, they like the work that we're doing. Fantastic. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But but in the in the immediate future, um, I need some time with the family, and so the Ross family, uh, Anita. And, Angelina and Camila and Caden and Sanchez, all of us need a little time to regroup. And so after the kids get out of school, after they're out of school, we're gonna get some time and do some family vacation and do some some uh, some time just reintegration as a family and get that time together. So we'll have some time there. And then uh, you and I will do some some important planning work that will uh, help me to be brought up to speed on all that's been going on and really uh, hear from you, as I've asked you to do, um, to get a pulse of what's happening in the community. So I'll get a chance to just kind of get reintegrated to the, the pulse and the speed of our community and, um, and do some important planning. And then uh, rejoin with all of you on uh, July 14th, is that correct? Is it July 16th, Sunday, July 16th, where we'll have our homecoming Sunday and we'll get a chance to uh, all celebrate together all of these various uh, uh, accomplishments and, and just, it'd be just good to be back in the, the on the soil, you know, back back home. So yeah, and and, and we all miss you, Rev. I mean, our people are coming up to me and saying, "Okay, is he is he going to be in church on Sunday?" I mean, they're really they really are looking forward to seeing you and congratulating you and and being with you. Uh, but I remember going to school years ago, and you know, I had a lot of things in my dorm room that I, I had to bring back to the household. So I imagine you have some things that you have to bring cross country and 
and there are some things that there's a transition period that that's, has to that's, take place. That's exactly it. So I wasn't on vacation. I was in a very rigorous master program at Harvard University. And so um, I do need to regroup after that just to get myself together. And then we're here in Atlanta, Georgia, uh, right now because I was a recipient of an honorary document here in Atlanta, Georgia. And so it's been this sort of wave of, of um, celebration. And, but what I do know that I need from all of you is uh, a little bit more time so that I can reconnect to my family, mm -hmm. really shake off that very rigorous and demanding um, experience that I just came from, but re reconnect with home a little bit, take my family on some vacation, get bossed around by the kids and Anita a little bit, and, and then get back in the saddle by bre being brought up to speed uh, from Rev E, and then we, we, we'll be rocking and rolling. And I want you to know that there are some exciting things coming to Unity, because as you know, I always bring something home. So I'm bringing, bringing some beautiful things home from Harvard your way. I'm also, uh, I'm gonna save some of the other surprises, but just get ready. If I went to school, you're going to school, we're all going to school so that we can all be a greater force for good in the world. So, yeah, so, so you, heard it, you heard it here first, everyone. And what I really want you to hear is July 16th. Save that date, let's all come together. This gives us some time to get things together the way that we do it, Unity of Sacramento style. And we'll, we'll make certain that this homecoming for RevKev, this, this coming home from Harvard is one of the best and the greatest that anyone has ever seen. So, you know, I, I mean, we, it, it's just the opportunity to, of a lifetime uh, to not only welcome our, our beloved RevKev back, but to also get caught up on all of the things that have taken place in these nine or months or so yeah. uh, that he was away in his studies. Yeah. And so we're gonna catch everybody up on July 16th. You want to be at um, you want to be at the church on that day and we'll fill you in on all the things that we're um, we're gonna need from everybody in our community. It's going to be a fun and festive oh, yes, time. Food, everything. <laughs> you know, food for me is, is, is the thing. But food and so much more. He never misses a meal. I don't care. In, in 30 something years, he's never missed a meal. But we're gonna have a great time and I have so much to share when I come home. So and let's get ready. Let's let's get ready to get down to work too, because we've got we've got great work to do in the world. We are indeed needed. I love you, miss you, and I'm holding hugs on reserve for every single one of you. Forward to being with you. Really soon. Peace. All right. And Thanks, everybody. Right. We'll see you soon. <laughs>